Hey guys, good morning. Always look forward to taking those out in the morning. I am a bed maker. I used to not be a bed maker, but honestly, it sets my day up. It sets it up really well. It helps me feel like everything's in place because believe it or not, I have a place for each and every one of my little stuffed animals back here. We are not getting dressed just yet. I will stay in my comfy pajamas for as long as possible. Today, I'm going to be taking you through a day. I get a lot of comments about how productive I am because I do a lot of videos where I'm doing schoolwork a lot, juggling YouTube and school. But a thought occurred to me about how I've never been one to wake up early. I haven't woken up early regularly since high school and that's always worked for me and it's never been something where I would sleep all day or like take a lot of naps or not get my work done because I was waking up late. I've just always, I don't know, kind of shifted my morning routine and shifted my whole day so I stay up later I wake up later and it always like worked really well for me because I just you know I would match the times my friends would like sleep and wake up kind of actually I'd, I'd probably just get more sleep I would just kind of match you know I feel like you sleep around the time your community or your circle sleep so you can talk to your friends talk to your family as long as you want which I wouldn't want to sacrifice that by going to bed at like 9 which this is also not to say if you are on a beautiful 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. like sleep schedule, go you. But I just can't <laughs> hold myself to that. And especially in the summer, like I still want to have a productive summer, whatever productive is. I still want to be productive in the summer, even if that means getting my rest and sleeping in. So today I'm bringing you guys with me on what a realistic day looks like when I sleep in but still have a full day. Yeah, so it's about 11 right now and I just woke up, did all my little room things and then of course after that the first thing I need to do is go make a drink now unfortunately I have cut out coffee for the time being so I'm gonna go make myself a matcha you know, I'm gonna call you while I'm on the moon I'm proud to announce that I've become a vitamin girly um and unfortunately i am a gummy vitamin girly and this tastes so good while we're over here i got this new matcha powder from trader joe's um latte powder so i'm expecting it to be kind of more like less authentic more like starbucks but i love the starbucks matcha because it's so sweet also interesting there's coconut in it but yeah i'm going to try this out for the first time today Guys, when I tell you, I have become the most extra person when it comes to making my drinks now in the morning. You can tell how much I care about this by the fact that I have three creamers here. I have regular milk, the Chobani coffee creamer, which I just love Chobani packaging. I'm not gonna lie, that's completely why I bought this, but it's also good because it's like sweet cream. I love sweet stuff. And then I have heavy whipping cream which i have this because i was making clotted cream for my scone which i'm gonna have to talk more about later because i've been obsessed with scones i've been putting my heavy whipping cream in nearly everything and it makes life so much better let me tell you especially in matcha it makes it so creamy and delicious to taste test this it literally looks like straight milk so sweet okay wait a second i might have just made this completely wrong because i didn't read the instructions but this is you're supposed to use five tablespoons five tablespoons of matcha since what anyways i'm gonna drink my tinted green milk and call it a matcha for now it's so good 
five tablespoons what the heck i am someone who's guilty of always having like three drinks on my desk i always have so much on my desk for no reason I'm a planner girl at heart, so even during the summer when I should be doing nothing, I will write down that I'm going to read today. I will write down that I'm going to walk my dog. Right now, I'm going to go watch church service from home downstairs. Hey friends, so I just finished with service. This is all laundry that I need to fold and put away. And then over here is some more stuff that I'm going to be selling on my Poshmark. So I just wanted to quickly upload some of those things before I get going. But I also wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that I'm gonna be selling. These are some summer pieces. Denim shorts, flowy pants. A lot of these things are things that don't fit me anymore. So they're like great pieces that I honestly wish I could wear. I just like finally had the realization and understanding that like if clothes don't fit, I shouldn't hold on to it because it's just going to make me sad and uncomfortable every time I try to wear it or every time I wear it and it just doesn't fit right. It's kind of like upsetting. So that's half of where like all these cells are coming from. Chloe pants, summer dress, it's a front tie. This I bought at Melrose. Another little crop top, mini skirt. I still love this top, pretty fun. This little dress. But yeah, those are just a couple of the things that I'm selling, a couple of the things I'm gonna upload right now, actually. Sometimes I get really sad because I'm a very like attached person. I attach to things so easily. I don't wear too much makeup. It's kind of hit and miss, like depending on the day or like, I don't know, I get into these periods of time where I'll wear makeup every day and then I'll just be like, I'm not doing that anymore. More recently, since I haven't been like leaving the house very much, obviously I don't get ready. I'll wear the same sweatshirt and sweatpants for a couple days straight, not wear makeup. But I found that that makes me feel very not great about myself. I feel more lethargic. I don't feel very self-confident. Yesterday, actually, I literally just went to Trader Joe's and the thrift store with my mom. I got ready. I put on makeup. I wore a cute little outfit. And let me tell you, that was a power move. So I just decided if I feel like it, I'm gonna get ready to walk my dog. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna wear a cute little outfit. It's hot out, which I'm so excited for. So I think I might actually wear a dress, which I never really do. Curling wires from the inside out. And when I put myself together don't mind the stuff on the floor but this is what i'm wearing to walk my dog and then i'm probably just gonna wear some like birkin socks with it or something guys look at my pink packaging for my poshmark item so i'm just dropping this off right now honestly i love doing this and i kind of look forward to it because it feels like i have my own little business even though i'm only like reselling stuff but still Hi, camera shy Hey guys, so I just got back from my walk with my dad and my dog. It took a lot longer than intended because Russell, I don't know, he's like an old man now. He's like so stubborn. If he's not feeling it, he'll literally just lie down in the middle of the street. And so that kept happening today and my dad had to keep carrying him. But now that I'm home, I am doing some of the more productive work. I actually am taking a summer class, so I have to get on that. This class is part of an independent study, so basically it's all online, it's all reading, and it's all at your own pace, which is great, but it is also pretty difficult because I'm not great at setting my own deadlines. It's like just a lot of discipline, I guess. So for today, I just want to submit one essay assignment that I have to touch up and then just turn in. 
in. And then that's probably all I'm gonna do. Because it's Sunday, guys. I'm not doing more reading for this right now. Since I'm taking it during, like, summer, it feels like it's not school. Which probably isn't the best thing, but... Alright, I don't know how to explain this. I have no reasoning for this. But submitting stuff stresses me out so much. I don't know why. It feels like I haven't done school in so long. Even though it's only been, like, a month. Okay, here's the moment. I don't like this. I don't like this. Someone help me. Okay, three, two, one. I mean, I feel good that it's done with, I guess. Now to reward myself, I'm going grocery shopping with my dad. I made these cookies and they have Lucky Charms in them and they're kind of the best thing ever. We just got back from Amazon, so I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul. It's not my typical healthy Trader Joe's grocery haul. It's actually not a well-balanced grocery haul whatsoever, but that's okay because we always have a mix. Do I need to say anything else? I have a weird obsession love for this stuff. I don't know why. My dad was like, yes. we literally have cheese at home, and I was like, no, this is different because the thick cut Tillamook cheese. I will quite literally eat this by the handful because I just think it's so good. I also got just some hot bar. They do the amazing thing that Whole Foods doesn't do where it's not by weight, it's by box. So this box was like six or seven dollars. I also got ice cream because I've been an ice cream snob recently. I don't know why. I eat ice cream every single night and I look forward to it so much. So that's my grocery haul. Every summer is the same. So I just put my laundry away and I'm beyond excited to just sit here and relax. Not that I did a lot today. I really didn't do too much. This is kind of making me rethink the whole thing. Like what, what is productive? Like today was productive to me, although all I did was go to the grocery store twice and walk my dog. No, I did an assignment. That counts, right? The thing I like to keep in mind to be the most productive version of myself, a lot of it is mental, the way you talk to yourself, like, oh, I get to do this. I get to go grocery shopping. I get to walk my dog. Not like, oh, I have to do that again. Of course, when I compare certain things, like walking my dog, if my dad's just like, Melanie, go walk the dog. I'm like, what? dad, I'm in the middle of my book. But if I'm trying to do my assignment, I don't want to do my assignment. I'm like, oh, I'll go walk my dog. That sounds like the best thing ever. Point of it being is like a lot of things are mindset and it depends on what you got going on. But anyways, I sat down to talk to you about my book and I ended up giving you a little TED talk. Nothing I love more than a good laying down video. Um, This book that I'm reading right now called Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. She is the author of The Seven Husbands of, Evel of Evelyn Hugo, which I loved that book. And so when that happens, well, I guess it depends if I just like like the book for some reason, but I feel like I can usually tell if I like the author's like writing style and I really really liked how she wrote. So I was like, I need to find other books by this author. Then I kind of stopped reading for a while and then I watched one of Ava Jewel's like reading videos because I love listening to books people recommend and she talked about this book and first off, okay, I'll explain in a second, but the concept of this book fascinates me beyond measure. It's such a great idea and then also Bam, I love the author. So I was like, yeah, I put her in my Amazon cart. I'm buying it. And I just got it. I started reading it and I am uh, two thirds of the way done maybe. I'm not sure. But I love that this book is, okay, well, let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. The premise of this book, there is a girl her name is Hannah. This is besides the point, but I just feel like her name shouldn't be Hannah. I don't know why. Like, nothing against her. She just doesn't seem like a Hannah to me. Anyways, there's this girl named Hannah. She, uh, I don't know, she's kind of a hot mess, right? Is moving back from New York, where she made her life a hot mess, to Los Angeles, where she was, like, kind of from. And then, when she gets there, she's with her friend Gabby from childhood. She just gets back home situated with her friend Gabby, and one night they go out to a bar. It basically goes two paths either she goes home with this guy who's her like high school sweetheart named ethan or she goes home with her bestie gabby who she hasn't seen in years she just came back home to and it's like alternate universes kind of showing 
what happens when one small decision i'm doing a terrible job explaining this how different your life can turn out just from one small decision it's kind of big like mind boggle because it starts making you think about all the decisions you've made i'm not done with the book but let's just say so far her two paths are very 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 different this is my my reading pillow because my arms get tired from holding it here because i'm weak i have this habit of always losing my book and seeing how far into it i am i don't know why but like every time i read an extra chapter or every time i close my book and i'm like inching along getting closer towards the end i feel like kind of accomplished okay guys i just read a couple chapters of my book and i'm probably i've been a early shower kind of girl recently like a shower before dinner kind of girl i'm probably just going to wash up for the night and watch some shows with my parents i've been really into k-dramas with my mom we just finished business proposal and honestly still thinking about it it's probably one of my favorite shows ever my mom and i loved it it was a bonding experience anyways thank you guys so much for coming with me today on all my little minor tasks that made up my very productive day that didn't start till 11 a.m thank you guys so much for watching it was so fun hanging out with you and i'll see you in the next video bye guys I know you leave, so come on, baby, be with me so happily Oops. I've also been doing an awful lot, an awful a lot of math. What am I? I am proud to know.